All right, hi guys. I'm going to show you how to use some simple features in iMovie. Um, and you can see I've already started importing some of my pictures from my book into iMovie. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to import, you know, a picture if you're just starting out, um, how I've gotten this far. So I'm going to click this little down arrow, but if you are just starting out, you'll see there's a big um, button kind of in the middle of this box right here, and it'll have like a down arrow. So you're going to click that to get started. Um, so I have saved all of my books, uh, all of my book pictures on my desktop. So I'm going to look over here and make sure I'm on desktop. Yours will probably be right there. Mine are in a folder because I have a lot of stuff on my desktop called Children's Book Project. So I'm going to go to my, oh geez, let's see. I'm going to go to my screenshot that I took today. I took two pictures, so I'm going to look for the date today um, cause, because I didn't name them like you should. Um, so I'm going to click both of these because these are my new ones. And when you click it, you can actually see the image to make sure it's the right picture. So I'm going to click both of these and I'm going to import my selected pictures. And there are my next two pages right here. So I know that this is the next page in my book. So I'm going to now scroll to the end of my pictures that I've already put down here in my movie. And I'm just gonna simply click and drag my next picture down there. Okay, so now I had talked to you guys about you making sure that you have enough time on each page in your movie to be able to read and create the sound effects. So as I was kind of going through my book, I decided as I was reading each page that about six seconds was what I needed. And if you look down here where my mouse is, you can see there's a little gray box and it says 6.0s. That's telling me how many seconds I have. I think automatically when you pull your picture down, it sets it at four seconds. So all you have to do to make that longer is simply click um, go to the end, you see those arrows, and then you're just going to drag it. Oops, I'm going to drag it out. Um, don't worry about the number up here, the timestamp that you're seeing at the end. You're looking here, right there. You want to just watch that number. And I'm going to set mine for six seconds. That's going to give me enough time, I feel like, for my book. You don't want to drag too fast or it'll kind of get out of control on you, just like mine did. But I'm going to just six seconds kind of want to go a little bit slowly. There we go. Six seconds. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my next page. I'm simply going to click on it and drag it down. And I'm going to change my time from four seconds right here in this little box to six seconds. Oops, got to click and drag. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Click. Click and I'm not sure what's going on. There we go. Click and drag. I'm going to get it set to six seconds. There we go. Six seconds. Okay. Um, the other thing that I want to do is you can see as I'm moving through my movie, even just sliding through, I've got this like feature on that is basically making my picture expand as I go through. Okay. If you like that, you like the way that looks, that's fine. Um, let me click here. Okay, so you can do a couple things. If you like it, that's great. If you don't like it, you can change this. You've got some options. You're gonna go up here to this little cropping tool and you can see right here in this box, that's telling you what it's zooming in or zooming out of. Okay, so you can actually enlarge this box. You can bring it up, you can bring it down. Um, I'm gonna actually pull it up and then I'm gonna click and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger going to tell me where it's going to start and end. I believe you guys might actually have two boxes, a start box and an end box. If you have questions about that, you can definitely ask me. Um, if you don't like the zooming in feature at all, you can go to fit. Okay. And then it's just going to give you the regular page. All right. So, but you do have to do that for every single page. You can see this one set to the Ken Burns, um, zoom in kind of slowly, um, 
So if you don't like that, you know, again, just click fit. But you do have to set it for every single page. So you can decide, you can do a combination, you can do fit on every page, you can do the zoom in, um, whatever is your preference. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to show you is if you click on this and you'd like to have some kind of, um, kind of fade in, into e like um, a transition from pages, kind of like we do on Google Slides. You can do like a cool transition. You can do that on iMovie too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double click um, on my uh, picture, whichever one I've, you know, I'm working with. I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna go add cross dissolve, okay? And that just adds this little thing and I'll show you what that does. Um, so I'm gonna do it here add my cross dissolve because I really like the way it looks. I want to do it for all of my pages and I already had done it for some of these. So now I want to show you what my book looks like so far. I'm actually going to read along as I go just to make sure I have enough time. I want to finish reading early, give the children a couple extra seconds to process and look at the page. And then I also want to make sure I have enough time for sound effects or whatever else I want to be able to create. So here is my book. Jamberry by Bruce Deegan. One berry, two berry, pick me a blueberry. Hatberry, shoeberry, in my canoe berry. Under the bridge and over the dam, looking for berries, berries for jam. And see that one, I feel like went a little bit too fast because there were more words on that page. So I'm gonna just pull this page to about seven seconds. Oop, maybe I didn't even set that one. I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna move it to like 6.5. Give myself just a little extra time. And this is trial and error. You know, as you go through, you can decide what works best. Okay, so let's see, here we go. I'm gonna start here. Under the bridge and over the dam, looking for berries, berries for jam. Oh no, crash. Three berry, four berry, hay berry, strawberry, finger and paw berry, my berry, your berry. And you can see, I didn't really change my time here, and obviously I didn't have enough time to read those pages, so I definitely would want to extend to at least my six second mark, you know, and make sure I can get all the text on both pages in there in time. Okay, I hope that this video is helpful for you um, as you are working with iMovie today. If you have any questions at all, please ask me and I am more than happy to help you. Um, but I wanna make sure that we are on the right track to getting these books um, looking the way that we want them to. All right guys, I'll see you in class.